and welcome to The Better Drummer with Zach Covington. I'm Zach Covington. In this video, we're going to talk about basic comping. Now, if you're not sure what comping is, that's just sort of short for accompanying, right? Adding to the music um, with, in this case, mainly the snare drum and bass drum. Let's dive right into it. The first exercise that we're going to play is we're just going to play jazz time, right? Play swing time uh, with two and four on the hi-hat. And we're just going to play on the down beats. So on beats one, two, three, and four on the snare drum. We'll just play one note per measure, starting on beat one. Then we'll shift it to beat two, then shift to beat three, and then shift to beat four. So that sounds like this. One, two, three, four. One, two. Three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four. Here's beat two. One, 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 one. Here's beat three. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two. Here's beat four. One, two, three, two, three. Now let's do the same thing with the snare drum on the upbeats or on the ands, right? One, two, three, four. One, and. One, and. Now that you've got that bass line of all the eighth note grid of a measure, right? One, and of one, two, and of two, so on. Now we can start putting them together and varying it and playing two or three notes in a measure. So let's play two notes in a measure. And I'm just going to pick two random places. Um, so it'll be different every single time. Here we go. One, two. Now let's do the same thing that we did on the snare drum on the bass drum, starting with just playing on the downbeats and shifting them across, then the same on the upbeats. Let's start with the downbeats. One, two, three, here we go. Now on the upbeats. One, two, three, four. One and two and three. Four. One and two and three. Four. One and two. Now I am the two. One, two, and three. And a three. And a four. Now 
Now the real fun part is doing both of those at the same time, right? We did the two notes on the snare drum. Now let's do two notes, snare drum and bass drum. And we can, we can pick, we can do both notes on the bass drum, we can do both on the snare, or we could do one of each. So here's what that sounds like. I'll just pick, again, two random places, each measure, and I'll vary if they're both on the bass drum or both on the snare or one, one each. Here we go. One, two, three, four. So you should be able to see now, we're getting into this vocabulary where we're, we have this sort of call and response almost between the snare and the bass drum, which we can then use in a more musical context to do the same thing, respond to a call from a piano or a bass player or something like that. We don't have to do just two notes. We can do more than that if we wanted to, or we could do less. And the, the key to having it sound musical is playing something, saying a statement, and then leaving room for the audience or your other musicians to internalize and respond to that statement. So that might sound something like this. One, two, three, four. So you may have heard me play some triplet vocabulary in there just a few times, and that's something that I don't want you to worry about right now, but definitely it will be covered in a video in the future, and absolutely you should play that triplet vocabulary once you get it into your system. So those are the basic exercises to practice for your comping. Now take those exercises, and I want you to play them um, just like we talked about in this video, playing them at different dynamics as well. So start, you can play them quiet on the snare drum at first, quiet on the bass drum, grow in dynamic level um, so that you can create a more interesting and dynamic comping structure that sounds like this. Now you've got the tools and the exercises to go down your comping path and to get some vocabulary started between the snare drum and your bass drum to get that authentic jazz comping style. If you enjoyed this video today, you can download the free PDF that is Jazz Drumming for Beginners, which lays out what to do with your feet, how to play the ride cymbal, and then this comping stuff that we talked about today. Hit that subscribe button and the like button as well so that I can feed my pet skunk. Thanks again for watching this video, and I will see you when you are a better drummer.